Okay. Well, let me go cover a, a couple more slides, and then we can come back into LinkedIn if we if we need to. Um, these landing pages that I was talking about, and I want to show you a quick example. When you go to our Foursquare account, and there's a link in the profile, when you do your Facebook account, when you do your Twitter account, and your LinkedIn account, again, make sure you build these landing pages, or links to landing pages. And you can see what we do with ours. We, we have giveaways. They're attractive. They have a big logo. There's always a lead collection form on here. And we get tons of comments back on all of our landing pages. Cameron, I would say probably 70% of our website is probably landing pages. Um, we have hundreds of landing pages on our website from all the things we do and the campaigns we run. So your websites that you have, make sure that you can create free pages. Free, not free, money free, but you have freedom to design pages the way you want to design them on your website and create these kind of cool, attractive landing pages to whatever, for whatever audience is coming to them. Um, so I, I just want to show you a quick example of the type of thing. I think our Facebook one and even our Twitter is very similar to this with the logos. We have giveaways. Anybody that fills out the form gets a free T-shirt and blah, 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 that kind of thing. You guys, you guys have so much stuff you give away all the time anyway. So it's perfect. This is a perfect way to get your face in front of people that normally wouldn't do it. On your profiles, on all your social um, media profiles, you should have this kind of thing, these kind of links off to your landing pages. Aside from it fills up your database. So that's more email marketing, that's more whatever, anything else you're going to do. And also potential clients. Um, call to actions. These forms, they're on websites or click on Facebook, click on Twitter, click on a blog. These are called call to action CTAs. I wanted to touch this real quick because these are so important. We talked about um, freebies. We give away freebies. We have webinars on some of them. You guys have have um, um, all the giveaways that you can give away. Don't be afraid to make your text big and bold and have fun with your landing pages. You want them to be attractive. You don't want them to have too much information on them because the object of these landing pages is to get people to fill out this form. You really don't care what's on the rest of this page. They might, but you want folks to fill out this form, so don't be afraid to be big and bold about your landing page. Analytics. Remember we talked about measurements? You want to be able to, to measure almost everything you do in your inbound marketing world. If you can't measure it, we might as well be doing the old school traditional advertising where we go into the back room and ask our creative director, okay, what do you want to do the next six months? You want to do a direct mailer? You want to do a billboard down on the interstate? What do you want to do? And then let's see if it works. If you're not measuring what you're doing on the internet, you're losing out on, let me rephrase that. If you're not measuring what you're doing on the internet, you can't monitor and change. Did I put that in here? All right, I didn't. You can't monitor and change and be malleable. In other words, you figure out what's working this month. You run your campaigns, as in you get out and participate on LinkedIn to stay relative here. You participate on LinkedIn, you put links up going back to your website, you see, you see at the end of the month through your monitoring tools if it's working or if you need to adjust something or if LinkedIn, LinkedIn's just not working for you. Next month you go place all your efforts into blogging. Then you do the same thing. You monitor this every month. You don't have to wait every six months like we used to in the traditional um, advertising world. So make sure that you have a full set of a full set of whatever you're comfortable with. You can see your page hits. You can see where they came from. You can see what landing pages pe folks filled out and what forms they filled out. Maybe you're getting tons of hits on a LinkedIn landing page on your website, but nobody's filling out the form. Maybe that means the web form is too far down the page and they're not seeing it. Maybe it's way down here below the fold and they're not scrolling down to see it. Maybe we need to move this, this web form up here. Maybe this is not as attractive as this. So maybe we need to change the way our landing pages work. So this gives you all that. Don't just throw up a website or a blog or go into Twitter or LinkedIn and not measure what you're doing. This is too easy to do. 
if you don't know how to do this, make sure you talk to your web host and say, hey, how can I do this? And if they say, well, what? You probably should go talk to somebody else. <laughs> because you got to establish that strategy, and when you're establishing a strategy, you always apply goals. We all know that. We do that in every point of our business all the way down the line. And you should set goals for leads. You should set goals for lead generation. You should set goals for hits on your landing pages. Um, and if they're not working every month, go back and adjust what you're doing. Don't just keep beating that dead horse up. Thank you.